real stuff right there. <laughs> I think I just grew balls on my balls. Hey, what's going on everybody? For First We Feast, I'm Sean Evans and you're watching Hot Ones. It's the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. And today I'm joined by one of the biggest pop stars in the world, Liam Payne. He was in a little group called One Direction, perhaps you've heard of them. And his debut single, Strip That Down, is out now. Stream it, download it, it's a banger. Liam, welcome to the show. Thank you, thanks for having me. I've worn cream in preparation to spill, spill the sauce upon myself. I was gonna say it's a little courageous. I, yeah, I, I think it is, but I don't feel like I'm, well, I'm, maybe I am quite a messy eater, which it can be sometimes. How are you with hot food? When you go to Nando's, do you crack now, it up a little I bit? I like hot food. Mm -hmm. It's the inside that doesn't like right. hot food. It's like when people say the inside counts. It really does in this situation. The inside definitely does count. Well, you ready to see what you have inside? So I'm just gonna look. Yeah. We got. I mean, we got the last dab. The last dab. Uh, but that could be the last the end of your hip hop dab in Korea. Valentina. Can you do it? We could make a new a new song. There'll be a new wave. What do you want to know? Well, first, congratulations on becoming a proper dad. Thank you. A real life, real life one. Mm. Have you learned anything from trading notes with fellow first time father, Russell Brand? We didn't really trade notes, we were just talking about, people love to tell you horror stories. No parents out there are in the parenting game to help other parents, they just love to scare you. We got our baby bear into a sleeping pattern in like seven weeks, and everyone hates on us because they're like, oh, my kid's like three months old and he still can't sleep like an hour. They go, oh, you must be tired. And then we're like, well, actually, I'm getting a lot more sleep than usual. And they're like, oh, but that'll change. Like, they don't want you to do, they don't, they don't want to see us do well, as Callie, as Callie would say. That's part of the game, it's called life, trials and tribulations. They never said it was easy to win. They're good wings, though. This is what's nice about that. By the way, this is breakfast. This is the first thing I've eaten. I should have lined my stomach somehow before I got here. <laughs> yeah, you but should've. this is breakfast. For five years, pretty much non-stop, you spend all your time with these guys from One Direction. From the stage, to the hotel suites, to the tour bus. Who's the messiest roommate? Mm, I mean, Louis was always the messiest. You just find like random socks and stuff around the place. It's just random stuff strewn along the bus. He leaves a trail. Yes. Over the years, who have you seen cry, physically cry the most? Uh, Harry. Harry cried when we first got the solo deal. Ma many times a happy to you. Who's the most fun to have a cheeky beer with? Cheeky beer? I'd say Nyla. Nyla likes a cheeky beer now every so often. Now, I looked, at this, I looked upon this guy earlier on. I mean, he's got quite a cute picture going on there, and he looks like he's enjoying himself a little sauce bottle. But I'm gonna let him know what I think after this. It's a strange hot sauce. That's too much sauce. Hey. <laughs> so for most of your adult life, you've been shadowed by maybe the most passionate global audience in music, and I'm sure you have a million stories about all the crazy face-to-face -face interactions. When you think about all the insane things that people have done to try to get your attention, is there a story that stands out? Well, I mean, it's difficult, because there's one we always said about this girl who jumped out of a trash can to like try and get our attention. Um, I suppose there's some different funny signs that people do. Um, to try and get my attention at the moment. Fidget spinners have become a thing to get my attention at the moment because I was showing off my spinning skills. Because we got one in a gift bag somewhere. And so I fidget his ban. Well, I can tell we're getting hotter. We're getting into heat town. Mm. Oh, yeah. That one's like. Do you ever notice with spice sometimes? Like, they can hurt different parts of your mouth. That's a very insightful thing to say, Liam. A lot of people don't know that, but that's true. You know, the chilies, the peppers, they all hit you kind of differently. So a habanero might hit you differently than They do, one. like, so sometimes they... That one's definitely, like, the front of the tongue is like... Mm-hmm. That's tantalizing. The tongue, the teeth, and the lips. So here at First We Feast, we're obsessed with Diddy stories, and you told a great one when you were oh on the Graham God. Norton show recently. Yes. I don't know about you, but when I make an awkward first impression, I play it over in my head. Yeah, you just wonder what could I have done again. differently, but I don't know in that scenario. I just offered out a friendly hand, and I just was greeted by Diddy's low, steady laugh. 
<laughs> I was like, I, it was the weird, most the weird experience, and the handshake just didn't seem to end. That was that was repeating on us now. <laughs> oh good lord, the group was pretty scary. It was DiCaprio. He was in obvious. I don't want to be bothered. Celebrity mode. I've got a hat on. Please leave me alone. Sort of thing. And then um, Jay Z was just in the middle. Ah, oh, yep. Yeah. You know how he is. Jay. And then P Diddy, he would just look like the, the target to start off the night with. So I thought, you know what? I'll walk side over there, give him a little shake, and then nah, it just wasn't happening. But that takes some courage to kind of like roll up on that crew. It did take some courage. It was some courage that was it was massively held by a little bit too much champagne. But yeah, I can go make friends with these guys. It seemed like a fun time. But what a crew to be hanging out together. And I noticed not one of them were talking to each other, but they were all sat at the same table. What's that about? Oh, well, I'll sit with you, but we're not going to talk about anything. We're too cool to talk about stuff. It's a nice it? sauce, actually. It's not bad. We're doing okay so far. Now then, that one's right at the back of the throat now, actually. Now I come to think about it, that seemed a lot easier than it did at the time. And now there's a, there's a small inferno at the back of my throat that's happening. Liam, I'm noticing a trend. It seems like you're sort of putting the uh, carriage in front of the horses. You know what I mean? I, I yeah, I'm like getting ahead of myself, feeling like I'm like, yeah, I've got this covered. It. Well, I've been, I've been trying to really chew and digest them just to make sure that I understand right, how hot is this before it goes down. But sometimes, you do, like I say, you don't know. You don't know that it's going to hit you there. Right. They didn't want us to do this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have a recurring segment on our show called Explain That Gram, and what we do is we do a deep dive on our guest's Instagram, and we pull interesting pictures that need more context. So I'll show you the picture, and then you just tell me the bigger story. This is when I regret good? things that I say. Oh, I get another napkin. That's nice. Thank you. This is the half. This is the half time napkin. Just there we go. What's going on here? Okay, so we were outside one of our I'm a songwriting friend's houses, and Niall had just got this car. The most obvious part of the picture is, yes, we trashed his car. There's a small teddy bear reading the magazine. There's a bin on top, and any form of garden furniture or item that we could find to throw on top of this car happened. But then when I tweeted the picture, I didn't blur out his, his, his reg plate. So now all the fans could track his car. So no matter what we did to the car, the worst part was just that little simple white box in the middle. So then he, he was, that was it, he was tracked for days. <laughs> Still being tracked now. You and Pharrell, you guys worked together for a couple of days, right? Me and Pharrell, we've kind of, we've almost gone for the same sort of, oh no we haven't, I'm, I've gone for the finger point, that's where I've gone for in that one. Yeah, we, we spent a, a little bit of time working together. Now, how many men do you know that can pull off that outfit? One. Him, exactly. Like, he, he came wearing different stuff all the time, and I'm just thinking, damn, like, I wish I was that guy who could just wear everything. All right, one more for you. This is me and Drake, me and Drake in the club. Which is so funny, because I we got thrown out of this party afterwards. <laughs> you did? We did. How does Liam Payne and Drake uh, get thrown out? Yeah, we, I, I'm not gonna, I won't go into, I won't digest the detail. It wasn't him who threw us out personally. Once again, it's always the personnel. Personnel become, like, our, none of, our, our team are quite gracious, gracious hosts, I would say. Whereas the, these people were not so gracious. And, 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 and in the end, that was it, we were thrown out of the party. <laughs> you wanted you all want to know so much more. Yes. You all want everyone's like, hmm? That's all I can do. Okay. Back and back and back and <laughs> on that story. I probably already said too much. Wait, what's this one? This is Dirty Dicks. Aggressive ah, branding. Ah, yes. <laughs> Dirty Dicks. Oh, it smells beautiful, though. Mm -hmm. oh, that's the thing, it entices you in. It entices you in, I'm judging on your reaction. And I think on a taste level, Liam, I think you'll really enjoy this wing. I really do. You really do, or is, it, is this like really niche? Quit, quit, uh, quit stalling and let me know. I don't know, you were right. We're definitely getting up there in the Spice Radar though. By virtue of these massive world tours, you have this rare distinction in that you've toured the entire globe by the age of 23. On an architectural level, what's the most stunning city you've ever visited? Oh, wow, what an insightful question. <laughs> there was a place in Italy that I went to that had this white, this big white cathedral. Blasphemous, though, I don't know what the name of it is now. That, that one's actually really catching up on us now. Or maybe it's just a joint mixture of all of them together. That's really, you don't even know. It might be the aardvark sneaking up on you. It could be the aardvark. <laughs> Where are the best beaches in the world, in your opinion? Do you know what? There was a beach when I used to go on holiday in um, to Florida, called Siesta Key, which is a really good beach. And then it was in like a magazine, 
for being like one of the best beaches, and now it's not so good. What's the best food city in the world, in your opinion? Ooh. What's your favorite food city? For me, it has to be being in America. I'm a man of simple tastes. How good are mozzarella sticks? You love mozzarella sticks? Mozzarella sticks are just the height of all culinary skill. <laughs> Fried cheese with tomato stuff. Little marinara dip action? Oh, I'm all about it. I keep rubbing my nose, that needs to stop happening. <laughs> I've got a small nose burn. This one's pungent. So you kind of know immediately. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, now we're talking. Mm. <laughs> That's unreal. <laughs> when they put zombie on that. Whoa. The balls are my balls. So, a number of our past I guests. was really confident up to now. This is really, this has thrown my game. Good. Wow, it really is quite hot, that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah. That's the show, yeah, it's happening. Ah. <laughs> so we've had a number of guests have high-profile run-ins with Donald Trump, and I actually find that his brand of celebrity feud is endlessly fascinating. What's the story Just behind continuous. him punishing One Direction by kicking you guys out of one of his hotels? So as far as my awareness, the way this story rolls is that we were in his hotel, a very nice hotel, and he had called up at like some ungodly hour asking if we could come and meet his daughter. And, and our tour manager politely said, like, they're in bed, like, it's sure. not going to happen right now. He's like, well, wake him up. So then, this, this one's really affecting my brain power to think of what, I'm, what the story was. Wow. Really does eat your brain. That's why they call it the zombie. <laughs> um, we had access to an underground garage to get in out of this hotel. One Direction needs that. It's a safety thing but sometimes for people because they like run across the street, especially out here in New York. They're, they're, the, the, road, the road safety code's struggling within this town. <clears throat> Someone's just gone back there. <laughs> this one is just, it's just it's the gift that keeps on giving. Wow, and I'm getting a runny nose there as well. Um, so he took our underground car park privileges away and the, the, our guy was like, well, we need to. It's for the safety of everybody outside as well as it is for the safety of, of, of the guy. He's like, no, they need to use it. And he was like, all right, we'll just get out of my hotel. That was it. Packed our bags and we left. But not via the underground car park. That one is... Yeah. yeah. There's three bit. more left as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to finish this three wings on the table. It really does hurt though. They hit you a bit differently, what you said. Yeah. Very smoky. I know, that is different. That's not something I've ever experienced before. I feel, I feel like you're getting on top of it. I actually, I can't I can't read you right now, Liam. I don't know where you're Ah, uh, yeah, this is not nice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Woo, mama. Oh, no. No, no, no. Ah, that wasn't me tapping out, by the way. That's just, okay. that's, that's just that was a nervous tick. Ah. That one's real, man. Uh-huh. If you're perfectly made holiday turkeys or any indication, I know that you're not afraid to roll up your sleeves in the kitchen. By breathing really slowly, it feels nice for a couple of seconds. I do that too, it aerates a little bit. Aerate action. But I, I can't breathe in for long enough before I have to breathe out again. <laughs> Holy. Are you allowed to swear on this show? They swear yeah, it's the, the internet, you can let it show? fly. Mm -hmm. Let it fly, man. Shit balls, Batman, this, is, this really hurts. <laughs> If you were to audition for Top Chef rather than X Factor, what would be your best signature dish? Oh no! It's making it all worse. <clears throat> what is that? God. Best meal. Um, best meal would be. I like to make like Italian dishes, so I can do like spicy chicken arrabbiato, which I can't even really call spicy now. What the hell is that thing? My eyes are like with this genuine water. I can't feel my toes, man. <laughs> it's called Mega Death. I didn't even read the name. Yeah, this is Blair's Mega Death sauce with <clears throat> with liquid rage. Oh yeah, just put throw a bit of that on fire. Why don't we? And it says feel alive at the bottom. 
Be warned, this sauce contains ingredients 500 times hotter than a jalapeno chili. Use sparingly, not recommended for use without dilution. Did we dilute this? We didn't. But it's not recommended for use. There's a disclaimer on the back that says we're not supposed to do this. The last ingredient is, is acid. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and once again, whoever made, who, whoever dipped this one, really, you went to town. Where's Dom? You at? hate me. Where's you Dom? hate One Direction. No. <clears throat> Come on, Lip, just get in there. Love it, love it. So I want to talk about Watson for a second. Was it always a dream of yours to have a massive dog? Yeah, just he slobbers everywhere. So like, you can't wear good clothes in the house. Really just, that's getting fiery though. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> One big slobbery dog. What's his most impressive trick? I can, I can make him sit. This is a bit cruel, but it's good for, it's good for his manners. Let's put it that way. I can get him to lie down and then I can put like a steak on his paws while he's laid down and he won't eat the steak until I clap. No matter where I am, I can leave it, go upstairs, come back down, he'll still just be looking at the steak. It's like, can I eat it yet? Can I eat it yet? And then when you clap, well, is it? Steak's gone. Steak's gone. But yeah, it's, it's what's scary about that is how fast. You okay? I think so. It's difficult at this point to know which source has just decided to make a re-entrance and, you know, while in an encore, they hadn't quite had enough yet. I'm just standing up for a second. I'm just taking a, a, a stand, a stand, a, a stretch out. Yeah. This is the last one. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I've got like a, I've developed a chest infection and, and sinuses. All right, so this is the last dab. Why, you ask? Well, it's tradition around here to dab the last wing with a little extra. You don't have to if you don't want to, Liam. Dab it on amigos. Oh! This is thick. It doesn't want to. I don't want much of it to come out. Yeah, be careful. Whoa, whoa. Ah! Okay, we're sti I'm sticking with that. Respect. Respect, Liam. <clears throat> I would tell you this whole thing's backstory, but I don't think you want to hear about it. No, 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 come on, please, please right. share it. So the hottest pepper in the world was the Carolina Reaper. It's grown by this guy named Smokin' Ed, and he has a farm in South Carolina called Puckerbutt. Damn you, Smokin' Ed. Somebody made a pepper hotter than his, but little did they know that he secretly had Pepper X, like, in the archives, and he was just waiting for somebody to one-up him. So that's made with the Pepper X, which... This is Pepper X? Mm-hmm. Okay. Have you eaten yours? Not yet, not yet. You should like cheers them. It's, it's yeah, typical cheers. within British fashion to cheers a wing. <laughs> I'm wondering upwards. Come on then, gotta get that pepper X. Yeah. I don't feel like I got it. It's on him. It's on me. <laughs> All on me. I'm not gonna lick my fingers afterwards though. I don't feel like I got it and I wanna, I wanna understand what Pepper X is all about. I do feel like I'm beginning to warm up though. Come on, <laughs> bring it on, bring it about. I love it. Boom. And you can tell Smokey Joe or whatever his name was, his pepper's not really all that hot. Smoking Ed. Smoking Ed. Smoking Ed. You need to change your first name, bruh. I feel like I just... Does it catch up on you later? You know, you get on top of a sauce, you celebrate it, and then I feel like it's a professional wrestler. I'm gonna it down. Slams the chair over the back of you. All right. The last dab. The last dab. <clears throat> How you Smoking feeling? Ed's making his revival. <laughs> <laughs> this is Smoking Ed 2. The return of Ed. Given a chance to walk that back, would you? Ah! Yeah, it's gonna, yeah, yeah. You were right and I was wrong. 
So now that the members of One Direction have all released solo work, fans are getting to see a different, more distinct side to all these They've seen a whole new artists. side to this, to Smoke and Ed. That's true, that's true. And even for you, you get to see a different side of all of these artists. You get to see a different side of Niall, Louis, Harry, Zayn. So, with the last dab coursing through you, it's time for some truth serum, and we're getting cheeky with this one. I want you to rank these singles from your most favorite to your least favorite. Just hold on, slow hands, pillow talk, sign of the times. Lip burner for real. Mm -hmm. I feel like I might get like Kardashian power going on in a minute. Yeah, a little Kylie uh, lip kit action. Maybe that's what she puts in it. Yeah, <laughs> I think she's been messing around with Reapers for sure. I'm sweating. That one's physically like a sweater. Mm -hmm. um, I can't, I can't rate the boys' singles. I think this is the theory, is that everyone's kind of done such different stuff. Now, I need to sniff, but I don't know if it's going to be the wrong move. We're about to find out. Oh, this just gets worse, man. I mean, I feel like you kind of, like, tested fate there, you know? I got cocky. <laughs> it's happened. I think it's down to each person's musical taste. It's not so much down to the idea of what was best and worst songs, because I don't think there were any worst songs. Honestly, I think everybody did the best of what they wanted to make. Ah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'll tell you this, it's nothing to sneeze at, Liam. You made it through, you cleared the board, you look great doing it, you wore a cream crew neck, which was very brave, very courageous. I attempted a lot of fates today. You did, you went double dab on the last dab. You didn't have to, but you did. You went the extra mile. No, 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 no. This camera, this camera, or this camera, let the people know what you have going on in your life. I've got a new single out called Strip That Down. There's an album to come if we're still alive after the last dab. I actually thought that was good for me. Yeah, you think because I felt like I felt like it was cheating. I was like, no way am I drinking anything. I'm just gonna take this on the chin. Oh, there's there's a chest burn. I'm changing color. Hello, Hot Ones fans. It's Sean Evans. New outro. Same message. If you like what you saw, throw us a bone, maybe. Please, it is dog eat dog here on the YouTube streets. Hit that subscribe button. Knowing that you subscribed, it is seriously the only thing that gets me out of bed in the morning. Thank you very much, Hot Ones fans. I love you.